early 2020. Therefore, Putin this opted is the to one. spend the nation's cash fighting the extraterrestrials with whom he has been engaged in a silent and clandestine war since 2013. Lieutenant General Viktor Lindev, Deputy Head of the Central Directorate of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Russia for the Novosrost region, and I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, said Putin's misplaced trust in Roscosmos, Russian, Russia's version of NASA, jeopardized millions of Russian lives. Lednev argued Roscosmos may have unintentionally given Putin, quote, sour information, unquote, based on a scandal that rocked the Russian space agency last August. On August 18th, the Federal Service Bureau, the principal security agency of Russia, identified, exposed, and later executed two Mossad agents working at Wisconsin. Somehow, they had defeated a rigorous screening process to gain employment as IT specialists. FSB later discovered they had seeded the space agency's computer network with, quote, dangerous and damaging, unquote, false data on everything from rocket geometry to calculations on the viewer's orbit through the solar system. In September, Roscosmos director Alexander Bortnikov assured Putin the bad data had been purged from the system and said engineers restored the original data from fail-safe backups. Quoting our source, General Lednev told Putin that while Anunnaki are a great threat, he should not ignore the coming of Nibiru. He got very loud with Putin, something that is not done. And Putin, in Trumpian fashion, told him, you're fired, and swore to replace him with a general who knows how to follow orders. His getting fired was not the only one. Putin also terminated Major General Alexander Yaznyov head of the Central Directorate of the Ministry of Defense for issues of civil defense, emergencies, and disaster management in the Republic of Komi. He said Putin's bumptious obsession with the Anunnaki compromised his judgment and precluded his ability to sanely make decisions involving Nibiru. He demanded Putin cede authority on matters of Nibiru to, quote, military experts, unquote, familiar with the Dark Star's threat to the Russian Federation. He urged Putin to focus on Nibiru and make fighting the Anunnaki a second priority. Quoting our source again. Needless to say, President Putin was not pleased. He told Niazov, anyone not making the Anunnaki a top priority is as good as an Anunnaki collaborator and not fit for command. He fired him with extreme prejudice. Putin never wants to see him again. He told him to get out of his sight, our source said. The phalanx of criticism did not end there. General Lavro Dmitrievich, a ground forces commander and veteran of the Chechen war, said Putin's crusade against the Anunnaki endangered countless Russian lives. His forces, he added, had for years trained to quell civil unrest that might surface in the aftermath of Nibiru's passage through the solar system. He had neither the time nor inclination to retrain soldiers to fight alien invaders, he said, and bashed Putin's myopic resolve to fight a war he cannot win. Quoting our source one last time. Mitrovich told Putin too many Russian soldiers are already fighting the Anunnaki and dying in battle. He even had the nerve to suggest Putin strike a deal with the alien scum. Like the others, Putin fired him and said he was lucky not to be sent to the Gulag for his disobedience. In Putin's eyes, anyone not in line with his anti-Anunnaki plans is not fit for service in the Russian military, regardless of rank. I suspect others may soon be fired too. Exactly, you can't do that. But some people God, what in the world, Lord, help us. You hear that article, people? That's crazy sounding. But you know something? Um, I actually read something October 19th about that, so I actually think maybe it's real. I don't know. You know, whatever's fake news nowadays, you never know, right? Like Forrest Gump said, life's like a box of chocolates. You never know when you're going to get a nut in a bunch. <laughs> Welcome to Seafranol Channel. Now CCTV and just showing you some crazy subscriber footage. Keep watching. Your name might pop up. Maestro, we need some music on this. <laughs>